guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video, it honestly means so much to me. It would be amazing if you would consider smashing that subscribe button. Also, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. As you guys will know, if you've watched my previous vlogs, I usually do my vlogs in a weekly style, but I thought I would try and mix it up a little bit. I think this vlog is either gonna be two or three days. Let's see if I do enough exciting things in two or three days to make a whole vlog out of, but anyway, that is my plan. It is currently Monday morning and I am up bright and early and I am actually spending my Monday morning going for breakfast with my friend. Usually I don't do this but actually I was really really productive on Sunday and I did two of the major things on my to-do list for Monday and Tuesday on Sunday. So I thought I would actually show you guys me getting ready this morning. I don't usually do this because I'm in no way good at makeup or hair but quite a few of you guys ask me sometimes how I do my makeup and stuff so I thought I would show you. Also in case you're interested I did my own nails yesterday. As you'll have seen if you watch my what I got for Christmas I got the Miley gel kit and I didn't think I was going to be very good at it because I thought it'd be really, really difficult but honestly for me and my non-professional eyes I think they look all right and I've also been doing my mum's and honestly that kit has paid for itself already in saving money on gel manicures. Yesterday I went for this grey on all my fingers and then this sparkly silver on my fourth finger and my thumb. I really can't do any snazzy nail art yet but I am planning on learning because I just think it's so fun and I'm also way more likely to experiment with colours and stuff when I'm doing it myself and it's free rather than if I'm paying a lot of money for someone else to do it. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting ready, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. You're currently balanced on top of three sunglasses boxes. This setup is not ideal because obviously my window is behind me, but this is where my dressing table is, so here we are. This morning, I'm thinking for my hair, I'm gonna do a slick low pony because it's kind of dirty, but I'm gonna be doing two dance classes and a workout later, so there's actually no point in me washing it. So I'm basically just gonna brush my hair. As you can see, my hair is not looking too fresh, so I'm just gonna take my tangle teaser brush and brush it through. I'm just gonna part my hair in the center. I always find it impossible to get the parting line straight. So we'll just go for what I can do best I can. It's a little bit wiggly at the back. Cool, that will do it for me. And now I'm basically just gonna flatten my hair down in this parting as much as I can. So it is literally flat to my head. So I look like an egg. And that is how to look like an egg in three easy steps. Now onto my makeup. As I said before, in absolutely no way a makeup artist. I just do what I think looks all right on my face. This light behind me is really annoying me. I'm going to try to close my blind. Sometimes I can't tell if my eyes are fuzzy or my camera's fuzzy. Why is my camera not focusing this morning? It's really annoying. Come on, I'm right here. For foundation, I either use my L'Oreal True Match or my Charlotte Tilbury What's it called? Magic foundation. I think I'm gonna use my L'Oreal one. The Charlotte Tilbury one's a bit more long wearing, but I'm literally gonna take this off when I get home because I have classes and I don't wish to dance in makeup. I'm gonna take it on my very dirty beauty blender and then just dot it around my face like this. The more polka dots you can form, the better. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and all over my face. And then, so I don't get a foundation line, I like to take a little bit and pop it on this brush from Bare Minerals and just pop it under my chin and blend that in with the brush. I could do this with a beauty blender, but it just takes too long and I don't have the patience. Once I feel that is suitably blended, move on to concealer. I have got the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher in the color Too Fair. I used to have it in One Fair, but then my mum got me two for Christmas and I actually think I prefer it because one was a little bit too light on my spots and with the mask life, I I've been getting more spots. So just plop that around my face. And then with the same sponge, I probably should use a different one, but I don't. Just dab, dab, dab. Wonderful. So now I take this big fluffy brush and I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. As you can tell, I really, really like Charlotte Tilbury. I wouldn't ever buy it for myself because it's so expensive, but it's very nice stuff and it works very well for my coloring because Charlotte Tilbury, if you didn't know, is actually my coloring. So I just take this fluffy brush with the powder and just kind of do it around my T-zone. I don't like to look too matte. I kind of like a little bit of a 
dewy glow, but I just don't want to look sweaty. And now I'm going to take this duo from Say It Again, Charlotte Tilbury, and this bronzer brush from Eco Tools, which I've honestly had, I think, since I was about 14. This was my first ever set of makeup brushes, but I really, really like them. And I just kind of do this around the top of my head, like so, and on the other side, because I'm really pale and I want to look a bit more tanned. Then I go for blush. I'm not really a huge blush fan. I don't know really how much of a difference it makes to my face, but I feel like it's an essential step you have to do in makeup. So I've got Charlotte Tilbury. Also love using this blush as eyeshadow. It looks so, so nice. I'm just gonna, on the on the cheeks, done. I used to fill in my eyebrows so aggressively in such, <gasps> such, <gasps> such, <gasps> As I was saying, insert photo here. But I feel like now I much prefer the more natural brows to trust you on. So now I just do a little top up with Benefit Gimme Brow. Now I'm just gonna cut my eyelashes and pop on my favorite NARS Climax mascara. So mascara is done and I'm now just gonna pop on a little bit of this baby lips. It's literally just a tinted lip balm. I used to have these when I was about 12, but I'm not a big lipstick fan, especially in this mask life, because it just goes on my mask and it will mark it. So I just pop a little bit of this on and yeah, that is it. My very, very basic and quick everyday makeup. I say everyday makeup. I probably do makeup about once a week, but when I do it, this is what I do. So I've just got into a super comfy, outfit this morning and it's this jumpsuit from Hollister. It's like blue floral and it is a wrap and it ties at the back and I'm just wearing it with my new white Air Force React. I'm heading out now guys. I will show you my food when I get there. If I remember, Lucy, remember to show the food. back home i've just got into comfies i'm just in leggings and a t-shirt and i have about an hour and a half until ballet so i'm just gonna sing through the song that i was learning at stupid in love from mean girls i wanted a new kind of character comedy song so i think this is quite a cute one and i'm gonna try out an ats tomorrow when i was five i fell in love it didn't last i decided i would be a mathematician because math is real a lot of pie because addition and subtraction and division would never make me feel so stupid with love. His clothes, his groom, when he's a foot away from me with tiny hair and na 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 he's live in the room and I'm stupid with love. <laughs> I can get it. It's all so simple. Stupid with love. I want to get it. Watch this girl self-educate. I learned that so I can learn love. Definitely made up half of those words. I'm going to have to go over them. It's all the, you want to bet it? Just you wait. I'm going to get it. I just can't remember them. So I've just found out that I actually have a three hour masterclass tonight, which is so, so exciting, but definitely means I'm not going to be doing my workout today because if I do jazz, ballet, a three hour dance masterclass and a workout, then I will be dead for the rest of the week and I will have killed myself off. So my eyes look so blue stood here right now. I love that. But my skin also looks absolutely transparent. So yeah, I've got an hour and 15 of ballet and then a break where I'm gonna have my dinner at four o'clock because otherwise I will literally have to go from half five till half nine without dinner and I will be ravenous. I'm about to start jazz. I start in five minutes. I'm so very full of food still. I had dal and rice which is obviously a very full-on thing to have for lunch but I'm not gonna be having dinner because I don't really want to have dinner at quarter to ten at night when I finish because then I will not be able to sleep because I'll be so so full. <laughs> Guys, I'm knackered. My brain is dead. It's half past nine. That was so good though. I am gonna peace out for tonight and go lie on the sofa and watch some telly and probably fall asleep. So I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Firstly, yes, I'm wearing the same outfit I wore yesterday to breakfast, but I only had it on for like an hour, so I thought I'd just chuck it on again this morning. Mum and I have been out this morning just running some errands, we had some bits to do, but we did actually go into Mall of the Emirates because my mum had to Aramex something, and we saw the Gucci X North Face store. I did film a little bit of it, so I'll insert it just like in a little picture here. It was literally so cool. All the nice stuff had sold out though. I'm not sure when the stand opened, but yeah, all the good stuff had gone. So that is this meeting and 
one-to-one -one singing done. I did think my one-to-one -one singing was now, but it wasn't, but it's all right. I checked my timetable just in time, and I did a bit of the beauty is from Light in the Piazza, which was great fun, and I just have a couple of bits that I need to work on for it. I have learned a bit of the melody wrong, so I need to change that, and yeah, I've now got ATS in half an hour, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a break first. So that is me finished my lessons for today. I think I'm actually going to bake some cookies tonight because I just really feel like baking. I haven't baked in so long, so I think I'm gonna do that, so I'll probably show you guys what I make. Oh my gosh, guys, those cookies are so good. They're from my friend Angelie's Instagram, so I'll pop her link down below in the description because honestly, you guys are gonna want to make them. They're so gooey and yummy. I'm sure the video didn't even do it justice. I guess, guys, some days, rather than doing a workout, you just need to make cookies, lie on the sofa, and eat two of them before dinner, and that is absolutely fine. And yeah, I am gonna end this vlog here. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this kind of two-day vlog rather than a weekly vlog. If you have, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. It really helps me out. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already we're getting very very close to 4,000 subscribers and I would love if you could help me get there thank you guys so much for watching and for all your love and support and I will hopefully see you very very soon bye <laughs>